What up, B Squad? It is your boy JB, and I am here today with the review for Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 5 Reunion Part 1, you guys. So, before we go ahead and get into the reunion, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, and you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, then do me a solid favor and stop taking me on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine, you can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications, sharing the video, and with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss Love and Marriage Huntsville, shall we? All right, you guys, so before we just go ahead and get into the review, I do want to say Happy New Year to everybody out there. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope it's great. If you're spending time with your family, have fun. For me, if you guys have, are new to this channel or just don't know, today actually marks 10 years that my grandmother passed away. So it's kind of a somber day for me. Once I finish this these videos today, I'm probably going to head home to visit her grave. I don't know if I, I might do it today or I might do it tomorrow. I haven't 100% made up my mind which one I want to do. <clears throat> but yeah, today makes 10 years that my grandmother passed away love you and I miss you this is her name this is her tattooed right here Biola um so yeah love and marriage Huntsville the reunion so I did watch it last night but I just didn't feel like doing a review last night because I wanted to do other things last night so let's start off the ladies I think the ladies look nice I loved Kimmy's dress it was a little revealing but it was it was fine I loved Melody's dress now, when it comes to Letitia, I wasn't the biggest fan of Letitia's dress, but what I will say is Letitia upgraded from last season's reunion. Letitia looked better this season than she did last season, so that is that. The men, suits on, so not really much to talk about, right? So, <clears throat> we start the reunion up, and at one point, Carlos was talking about the fact that, you know, with this show, they've all been able to do so many things with the show's success, you know. Um, they, and they showed the package, you know, black, you got Credit One, you, you know, you got um, Melody's skincare line, you have the business that Mar Maurice and Kimmy were talking about, the closing and all that kind of stuff. So you see all of that. And, you know, Carlos is talking about the fact that, you know, they should all be praised. So they all just give a round of applause, right? Everyone except for Melody. Melody is sitting there with a stank face. I was just like, oh, my God, we just started the reunion. And Melody already has a stank face on her. Oh, it was frustrating. That was frustrating. And then also seeing the, the before the reunion happened with Carlos. I don't know how anybody can be in Carlos's orbit the man is loud. He's He was getting his Andy Cohen on, so he went to everybody's dressing room. He went to go to Martel's dressing room, and surprise, surprise, Martel was on the phone with Sheree. But yeah, so Melody, back to what I was talking about a few minutes ago. So Melody says that, you know, last year that, you know, she had, um you know, basically she had given everybody their praise and whatnot, but it wasn't shown on the show. It wasn't shown on the show. So this year, she's good. She don't care. I was like, but how was it their problem that it wasn't shown? You know, like you gave them kudos, you gave them praise and whatnot, but it wasn't shown on the show. How was it their fault? But it is what it is, right? So Maurice says that, you know, he supports everybody. Why did he say that? I was like, oh my God, he said that, right? And, you know, Carlos noticed Melody. He said, the way you look in, you look like that's some BS. And she was like, well, you know, let your actions show that you aren't, you know, you feel that way. So Maurice says that his actions do show that. And then she says, you know, Maurice always gives those long Martin Luther King speeches, right? So Kimmy was like, you know, for Mel to say, let your actions speak, right? Melody had a, you know, on your show, Carlos, she came on there and said that Maurice is the most irrelevant person on our show or the, non, the most non-relevant person on our show. So then Melody said, I could have got it. I may have gotten ahead of myself. I don't know. Don't care, right? But then Melody says that her issue with Mar Maurice is the fact that Kimmy and Maurice did an interview, right? And when they did that interview, I guess the interviewer asked them, 
you know, is Melody and Kimmy's friendship a real friendship? And she says that Maurice downplayed the relationship, right? So then Carlos asked Kimmy, so do you think that you and Mel are friends? And she says, you know, nobody on the show are my best friends. You know, we don't go get, you know, we don't go get massages, manicures, pedicures together. But Melody was there when I needed her. You know, we check on each other. So, yes, I do consider Melody a friend, right? But here's my thing. Kimmy said the same thing that I tweeted last night. When it comes to Melody, Melody has done her own fair share of interviews. And Melody has said in her interviews that, you know, they're not close, like she's not close to any of the women on the show like that. Now, I don't know if she means all of them, but I do know that she's not that close with them like that, right? So, what's, it's a game of semantics, basically. Now, if you know that you, and, like, you, and the thing is, you and Kimmy are not best friends. You're not, you're not, girl, you're girlfriends with each other, but you're not best friends. Like, y'all don't talk on the phone every day. Y'all, it's just... I don't know what Melody's issue was. It just, to me, it didn't make any sense. And it was just kind of stupid to be quite honest with you. Cause she was just upset over nothing. I'm like, because he, now she said she feels like Maurice shouldn't have said anything about the relationship. Okay, cool, man. I don't care. Like it really ain't that, it really ain't that deep. It's not that deep, but let's pause here and let's move forward you guys. So next up, Carlos talks to Letitia and Marso about Scott Manor. So he says Scott Manor is the new Chateau Charade, the new Neverland, right? It kind of is, right? Now, I know people want to say greatness takes time, right? Greatness takes time, but it also takes time when you don't have the funds. I'm not saying that Letitia and Marceau don't have the money, but there's something that you don't, you're missing something. I don't know if you mentioned your permits. You zoning, you know, if zoning is off, I don't know what it is, but there is something missing with this situation. I don't think that they're in a situation that Sheree was in, but I do believe that there is something that they can't get that's haunting them from building their home. Maybe, maybe it's a mixture of money. And I'm, again, I'm not saying it is money. I'm just saying maybe it's a mixture. Maybe it could be zoning, money, you know, uh, inspections. I don't know. But Marceau says that they're going to be bla they're going to be blasting rock. I was like, wait, 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 blasting rock. The last time y'all were there, kind of like what Phaedra and him said about Chateau Chere years ago, it was just sticks and dirt. The last time we saw y'all drive up that 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 steep ass hill, it was just dirt and trees. But again. I'm not judging Martin. I'm not judging. I know that when they initially tried to do this, this was during COVID. And I know that that's another, that could be another issue too. With COVID, even though we're post, even though we're now post COVID, there's still, it's still a delay on a lot of things. Cause even in my market for insurance, right? When it comes to car parts, there's still a delay with some of that stuff. And we're almost three years in, you know, we're almost three years now and it's still delayed. So, who knows, right? So they talk about Skolt and, you know, Carlos asked Letitia, so how did you get into Skolt? He actually said trick, but he said, no, how did you buy into it, right? So she says it was easy. You know, she just bought Martell out. And after she bought Martell out, that's when she changed the paperwork, right? And from what she was saying, it's kind of like it was a blessing in disguise, right? Because... When Martel was working at Skolt, they were in a negative. But when she came aboard, you know, they profited and they become a they've become a multi million dollar company. Congratulations to them for that one, right? <clears throat> so then after that, Carl, because you know Mar Martel was like, you know, that, that's that's what I meant to do. That's what that's what we meant to do. You know, some and granted, when you go into business, you're not always going to be successful in your first five, first year, first, second year, first year, first five years, sometimes it takes a little while before you start to see a profit, right? So he, Emily's iPhone would like to share a photo. Baby, I don't know who Emily is. Sorry, y'all, somebody was trying to airdrop something to me and I don't know who 
the fuck it was. Sorry. Emily's I no baby. Emily, I don't know you. Um It must be my neighbor. It must be some one of my neighbors. Like, no, don't try to airdrop me. Nothing. Um what was I talking about? Marce Marto Martel Martel Martel. So yeah, it is what it is. So Carlos brings up this lawsuit that Mar so and Letitia, well, I guess Skolt is involved in a lawsuit. I had no idea of that. You guys, like I told you guys plenty of times, I don't keep up with these people after the episodes go off. So if they're involved in a lawsuit <clears throat> and you guys know a little bit about it, leave it in the comment section. I'll read it. <clears throat> so Letitia then says that, you know, that this is part of the reason why Marso went to Africa. And I was even with Martel. I'm like, that's why he went to Africa? That's why he went to Africa. Without his family. Without you. Okay. If that's what she, it, it sounds so stupid. Let's keep it real. It sounded, it was the dumbest shit, right? <clears throat> so, you know, then Carlos talks about Letitia and these cheating rumors that have surfaced on the, you know, have surfaced from the show. I'm going to talk about one of them, and then I'm going to ask you guys a question, You because I know you guys know more than I do when it comes to this damn show, right? So, Tisha's whole thing is, and I'm just going in lame, I'm not going to repeat what she says, but because I knew what she said and I understood what she said, right? So, Letitia's whole thing is, am I supposed to leave my husband because Martel said that he has 20 girlfriends? Mel tells me to pull up at the bar. Social media says that my husband's cheating on me. Someone put a picture of a man's back on social media and they're saying that's my husband, but I don't see his face. Like, so I'm supposed to leave my husband because of that and I honestly understand where Letitia's coming from. That's really stupid, so I'm not one of those people who feels like Letitia should divorce him, right? I'm also one of those people who feel that, you know, I don't, because people want to say, Marceau, if he is cheating, <clears throat> either the woman he's cheating with has a lot to lose, that's, that is a possibility, or he has a woman sign, he has someone sign an NDA, right? I don't think Marceau has that much money, right? Not saying, not counting his pockets, but now NDA doesn't mean you have money, right? <clears throat> but some of the things that people have said, you know, possible, the woman has a lot to lose, if He's cheating. I'm not saying that he is. This is allegedly. If he were cheating, he's had somebody sign a really good NDA or um, she has a lot to lose, right? But my thing is, if there were if because what people try to say is there are kids, right? If there were kids, I think that by now they would know. Like, that's something you can't hide. For very, that's something you cannot hide for too long because if he has another family that we have to take care of then Letitia's I mean you would notice that money's coming out and you'd be like wait a minute where is this money going like you would have questions would arise at that point right so I'm with Letitia if you don't have concrete proof of him cheating what am I supposed to do with that right now when she said the Lord will reveal everything to her I was like, eh, he will, but it, uh, he will, right? So, Carlos asked Melody, so when you told Letitia what you told her, were you lying? Melody says she was not lying, right? And, you know, she says that, you know, she was on the phone call with the woman, and Carlos was on this same phone call. Carlos says, I was never privy to a woman. So what happened is Letitia is saying that Melody was offered a woman money, to $5,000 to come on a show. This was once Melody's best friend. Now, this is where I have the question. The woman that was once Melody's best friend, is that Martel's cousin that, was, that used to do her hair? Because I know some years, I know about two or three years ago, maybe, tw I think it was like 2018, 2019 or so, when... I think it was 2019. I could be wrong. I think it was 20. I think it was season two. 
when season when see around the time season two was airing because I was I, I remember it I, I kind of remember it but I kind of don't remember I think around the time season two was airing that there was just there Letitia Marceau and the the woman did a, a Instagram live video with each other where the woman said that no she's never had an affair with Marceau you know she don't have a kid because that's the one that I believe people had kept saying he had the baby with, which was, like I said, Martell's cousin. But can you guys let me know in the comment section if that's who they're talking about, right? So Melody says that what happened is she never offered to pay this woman. <clears throat> what happened is there was supposed to be a girl's trip, and the woman was supposed to come on the trip. Oh, I said, what now? But you would have a whole conniption if somebody invited Dolphin Mouth's raggedy ass on this show. Like, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Like... That's what pissed me off, right? So then Mel says that the woman said that she wanted money, and Melody said, well, you need to talk to production about that. I was like, that's fucked up. And I know people are going to be like, well, you know, Letitia and them talked about Melody and Martell's relationship in season one. Melody, and in season one, Melody knew Martell was cheating on her. She knew who Dolphin Mouth was, so miss me with that one. This was going to be an ambush on Letitia. This was going to be an ambush. Like, let's keep that a buck. That was going to be an ambush. And I don't agree with it. I don't agree with any, I don't agree with them bringing anybody's dirt on this show. It's like, see, here's my thing when it comes to somebody, when it comes to cheating and stuff like that, if I know somebody's cheating, my lips are sealed, zipped. No, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Unless you involve me in this, unless you, the only way I would say something is if it was like what happened with the guys when they went to Atlanta, when Martell brought Dolphin Mouth around, I would have said something then. I would have been like, first of all, Martell, who is this? You married. Why is she here? I'm not going to, like, now I would have left. I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. And I would have told, I would have gave Martell an ultimatum. At this point. Me and you, because I can't be around something. I can't support this. I can't be around this. You need to tell your wife what's going on. Tell your wife what's going on. Don't have this woman in my presence. You have you 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 got to tell your wife. No ifs, no ands, or buts about it. Now, what I have told Melody, um, honestly, I probably wouldn't, because I, when it comes to people. When it comes to that, when you tell someone that their spouse is cheating on you, they do get mad at their spouse, but sometimes you, if you tell somebody that their husband or wife is cheating on them, sometimes you catch the stray bullet as well. So that's why I say I don't, I, I don't know if I would have told her, but I definitely would have given her husband an ultimatum. Like, me and you, we ain't going to be able to rock with each other. We ain't going to be able to kick it with each other as long as you, and you damn sure ain't bringing that woman around me. You're not going to implicate me in nothing. Absolutely not, right? But that's that. I don't want to tangent, didn't mean to, but let's pause here and wrap up the episode, you guys. So, next up, Carlos talks about this rumor that they had sex parties down at Credit One. Credit One. Marie says whoever keeps dispelling that rumor, they're going to see themselves in a lawsuit. Okay. But they said that they didn't have sex parties there. Kimmy chimed in, and I'm like, I don't know that that helped the situation. Because she said that the guys used to get together. That's part of the reason why they opened Black, because they just wanted to have somewhere where they can go listen to music and drink. I'm like, um, isn't that why men mostly have a man cave? I mean, that's what a man cave is for. To play cards, to drink, to smoke, to watch football, basketball, whatever sports you like. That's called a man cave. You know what? Ain't got nothing to do with me. So, Carlos then flips and he asks the question of Martel and Marceau because he said that you guys kind of, the six of you guys have a pact that you guys won't really tell anything about each other. I'm like, are you sure about that? I think they may have had a, well, actually they said they had a pact at the beginning of the season where they wouldn't talk about certain things, right? So, Carlos asked Martel and Marceau that they ever own an apartment together, right? Marceau says no. Maurice says yes. Marcel says no. Maurice says yes, she did. He says, um, whatever the name of the place was, right? Maurice said, Marcel, I said, I never owned that. 
and then Kim Chandra said, we all owned it collectively. Because Kim, not Kim, but Tisha was like, um, something run, something run. I forgot what it was called, but whatever. So then we move over, and now we have Kiki, Ms. Wanda on the stage, right? So I'm going to sum this up. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm going to sum it up in one word, in two words, actually. Two-faced. Kiki is a two-faced person. I can't rock. I, family or no, family or not, I just could not rock with somebody like Kiki. We wouldn't be able to kick it with each other because what you did to Letitia, granted, Letitia them told Joe Business about you being um, a recovering addict. Okay, that was fucked up. That was wrong. That wasn't their place. But then you moved, like, here's my issue with Kiki. You and Letitia had moved past that because at um, Letitia's graduation party, you were in defense of Letitia to Kimmy, right? You was coming at Kimmy all sideways, right? At Letitia's graduation party. But now this season, well, last, whichever season, shit, whichever season we're on, Whichever season that was that we just, whichever season you and Mel were, that was whatever season that was, right? You came to that season as Letitia's enemy, right? So Carlos asked Melody, why did she invite um, Kiki to her Christmas party, right? Now, I'm going to sum this up and say Melody can invite whoever the hell she wanted to invite to her home, right? She did, however, have ulterior motives. Keep that in mind. So, um, she does say that, you know, she knew Kiki before she knew Letitia because, you know, she and Kiki share a mutual best friend. I don't give a damn what you say, Melody. You're still full of shit because you knew that by bringing Kim, not Kimmy, but Kiki on this show this season and her and Letitia have a quote unquote issue with each other, you knew that that was gonna spark some shit, right? You knew that you were really trying to goat Kiki into saying things, right? Because that's why you were asking her questions as your party. So Miller says, yeah, you know, um, I knew she had an issue with her cousin and I was like, you know, come on and show and tell your story. That's messy. Like, why would you get involved in family business? That's what I can't. Melody is a snake through and through, right? So then Letitia says that Kiki told her that Melody had asked, has said that she had somebody down at the state at the courthouse pull their records, right? And Melody was like, I, I don't even have anybody at the courthouse, right? So then Kiki, both, I don't know who is lying in this situation because it was a lot. I can, I was like, wait a minute, because Kiki said she didn't remember that. But then, when Letitia got up and said that she left the stage because she was saying that Kiki is Mel's puppet, she left the stage, right? And then. While she was off the stage, Kiki was like, well, you know what? Yeah, we did have a conversation, but it was about Marceau's accident and Melody wanted to know which car he was in. Now, the question that I have is, why does it matter which car he was in? Why do you care which car he was in, Melody? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, right? So, and Melody was like, see, yeah, that was on camera. They recorded that. I don't give a damn. So then at one point, Letitia returned to the stage with these two damn puppets. I was like, she really spent money for these puppets? Why? I cringed when I saw those puppets. I was like, girl, you could have you got any other prop but a puppet. And she was serious about the puppet. So, like I said, Kiki was being two-faced. Then, where are we at now? Okay, so at one point, Marceau, they were like, Melody wanted to know how could Marceau afford the car? And Kiki was like, you know, I don't, re I don't remember verbatim what it was said, but it was something similar to that. And Melody said she didn't have that conversation. I'm like, well, somebody's lying. And I believe it's you, Melody. Just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. So now, this is where I really got lost at. When... They were talking about, you know, the fact that, you know, Kiki said that, you know, Tisha has had some, you know, had some moments where she questioned if Marceau was faithful, I guess. And Letitia's trying to say she didn't. 
but this was before the show. Then she says that, you know, she found some pictures of a woman in Marceau's phone. I was like, say what now? So you found a picture of a woman in your husband's phone? Okay. I'm really interested to see how this plays out in part two of the reunion. I don't know why we needed a three-part reunion, but it is what it is, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode, part one of the reunion, in the comment section below. You guys subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications. You guys share the video. Um, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed. Wash your hands, and I will catch you guys in the next one.